The best thing about living in Singapore is the weather, lots of cool business people and views like this. Before I used to live in Dublin, Ireland. It was lovely, but very different. We had a 19th century house with a nice fireplace and small backyard. Here in Singapore we don't have a fireplace, but there is something much cooler. Let me give you a tour of our 4.5 million dollar penthouse apartment in a world famous condo, the Interlace. So this is basically 3 plus 1 apartment meaning it's three bedrooms and one kind of smallish room i'll show you later that's the living room sorry about this all green type of colors we were trying to match it but unsuccessfully that's the whole space that's the whole area where we chilling this is the sofa that i really didn't like and we actually needed to buy all the furniture in this apartment because our previous apartment was fully furnished so we needed to buy anything and this one was empty. So we spent like a couple months of like choosing all this stuff and yeah, it was painful. Yeah, you like living in Singapore? I love living in Singapore. Yeah? What's the, the best place. What's the best part of it? The best part of it is food. Food is the mm. best part of it. Mm. And also the weather. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. That's the best part, which I like. Cinema screen that I wanted like for long time. And here we have this now. And so this is the UST projector. So it's a ultra short throw. All right, and this is what they called here plus one. This is the small area, it can be dining area as we're using it right now, but also it can be like kids area or kind of office space. That's an extension for, for the living room. And the thing about this apartment that I like the most, it's the view. Like when I came here for the first time, I was like, oh my God, you literally can see the sea. You can see Indonesia, actually. Yeah, just from here. Also, what you can find in any Singaporean apartment, it's lots of air cons. Like in this room, there are three air cons and three more over there. And we need to service them like every quarter, every three months. And it costs like 80, 60, 80 bucks per visit. So yeah, Singaporean thing. Singapore is an island city-state in Southeast Asia. 5.7 million people are living here. Its population is very multinational. There are four official languages – English, Malay, Chinese and Tamil. Most commonly used though is English. Singapore has a highly developed market economy with $95.6 thousand dollars GDP per capita, which is the second highest globally. The average salary in Singapore is $4.3 thousand dollars. Most Singaporeans live in so-called HDB flats, which are government-built and subsidized housing. Condominiums or simply condos is the second most popular housing option in Singapore. That's the kitchen, so basically it's the territory of our helper, so she organized it here, everything, yeah. Hey Che Che! Hello! Say hi to my hi. subscribers! Hi. <laughs> How long you live in Singapore? Going 15 years. 15 years, wow. Yes, it's I a lot of time. So, Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the whole, um, you can see all these nice pictures hanging on this wall. Uh, at least you can imagine them here. One toilet. Yeah, this is my kind of studio where I shoot my videos. At least I try. And so basically it's still under construction. So I just painted this wall pretty nice gray color. So it contrasts the skins. Then yeah, that's my working space. Uh, this is my camera with teleprompter. The light, that's the main light. I will probably need to use the backlight for my videos as well. I will do it later. That's the my favorite mic ever. That's Shure S7B. I love this mic so much. These pictures, they have to go to this wall. I'll also do it later. So yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go, let's go. 
this is my wife, she's, she has five minutes, so meaning we need to shoot it fast. So basically, normally she is trying to concentrate here, but from time to time I need to interrupt her to ask stupid questions, you know, this kind of thing, working from home thing. So that's the master bedroom. Uh, you can see the best thing about this, also the view. You can see the sea also from here, and this is the port, which is actually Singapore government will move this port within next like five or seven years. So this whole piece go just that way, which is amazing how they do this kind of projects. This condo is called the Interlace. It's worldwide known for its special design. Unlike most typical tower type buildings, this condo consists of blocks irregularly stacked upon each other. Singaporeans refer to it as Oh, Lego Condola! This complex sits on 8 hectares or almost 1 million square feet of land. It has 1040 units split over 31 six-story blocks. Designed by German architect Ole Schieren, the interlace project was finished in 2013 and two years later it was awarded the World Building of the Year. There are plenty of facilities on the site. Five swimming pools, gym, three tennis courts, a multi-purpose court for football and basketball, barbecue pits, reading room, 800 meter jogging track, cinema, karaoke, two grocery stores, hairdresser, laundry and even your own GP. So it really feels like a mini country by itself. We were actually quite happy to stuck here during the lockdown last year. So that's the master bathroom. It's nice to have a shower watching some uh, ships coming to the port. Okay, let's go. Another bathroom and toilet. Room number three. Uh, try to guess whose room is this one. Pink colors, meaning it's my almost four years old daughter's room. She sleep here and when the lockdown is over and pandemic is over, we can finally get some relatives and some friends. So this is kids room slash guest room. Also, what I like about this apartment, they installed uh, some fans like this one. So sometimes you use aircon, but sometimes you just use a fan, which is also nice. And you see these yellow stains on this wall and on the ceiling. It's because December and January was so wet, so much rain. So this ceiling start to cry and we are now waiting uh, someone from the management of condo management come and fix it. So now it's a quick solution. <laughs> so the water is not dropping. Okay, now it's the best part. Let's go upstairs. That's my favorite place in the whole apartment. We actually spent quite some time here because of the view and the privacy of this of this place. Basically, you can see like 270 degrees panorama. That's actually the Google office there, Maple Tree. My wife used to go there, not anymore. I think that's the biggest mountain actually in whole Singapore. It's called Mount Faber. Uh, I do cycling sometimes there. And the iconic MBS, Marina Bay Sand, you also can see from here. Yeah, it's over there. That's kind of the lounge area with the drinks with our friends here. That's my favorite chair. Uh, sometimes I can spend like an hour working here. Not this time of the day because it's really, really warm now. Uh, but in the evening, it's cool. I take my laptop, sitting here like for 40 minutes working. Here we are experimenting <laughs> with planting some uh, frangipani tree. Um, I don't know if it works, but okay. We tried at least. Let's see in five years if it's grown or not. This thing is freaking jacuzzi. So it's real jacuzzi. Um, I would love to use it like more often, though my daughter and her friends um, use it, it quite more often than me. Yeah, but anyway, it's quite cool. There are bubbles there. That's my drum set. That's electronic drums. And this is the fridge where we store our 
our vodkas and beers and stuff. This place is great for, you know, hosting parties. We are renting this apartment. The total size is 340 square meters, which is 3,650 square feet. And we pay 7.5 thousand Singapore dollars per month, which is 5.6 thousand USD, plus around 500 Singapore dollars or 370 American dollars for electricity and water bills. But to buy this place, I will need around 4.5 million Singapore dollars, which is 3.3 American dollars. But for most foreigners, there is an additional stamp duty tax of 25% on top. It's insane, but this makes the final price around 5.6 million Singapore dollars or 4.2 million American dollars. Yeah, I guess I need to make more YouTube videos to afford to buy this place. All right, don't forget to smash the like button. It helps the algorithm of YouTube a lot. And when you next time in Singapore, uh, send me a DM to my Instagram. See ya.